Hi everybody, I'm Joey. Well, recently I had the opportunity to uh, design a workbench for a complete beginner. So I needed to be a uh, relatively easy build, relatively cheap to build, and in this case it had to be um, removable. He needed to be able to get it down some stairs and maybe shift houses a couple of times, and he only had a small work area. And so we made, I uh, came up with a, a flat pack design. And so this is what it is, it uses three and a little bit sheets of plywood and it's all 18 mm um, pine plywood and uh, certainly in my case I can pick up a sheet of this plywood for $50 and so that is $150 plus a little bit of scrap that I happen to have. Um, and so it's a bloody sturdy thing. So. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, so stick around and see how I made it. Right, so I could get started by uh, breaking down the three sheets I had uh, according to my plans. So I'm just laying out essentially what is a large mortise for the legs to come into. Now I have worked out after making this one that this probably can be done a little bit later. Uh, probably it's better to start making this by making the legs first uh, and then tracing them onto these pieces. Uh, I'm doing it by theoretical measure, it wasn't quite right and I had to do a little bit of trimming which you'll see later on. but. Um, it, it would work this way. Uh, in this case I'm cutting the holes out um, I've got two pieces laid up together um, and I'm cutting two holes at once so they are the same size but they're not quite the right size if that makes any sense. And then it's just a matter of putting on the ribs, which you know, essentially what we're making is uh, a few torsion boxes and joining them together. Um, so it's really just ribs and glues and screws from here on in. This piece going in now is essentially a stopper for the legs to sit against. Um, really the mortise for the legs needs to be twice as thick, 36 mil instead of 18. Um, so that, I have drawn that on the plans for this job. Um, but it does work this way as well. And then just a couple of packers to up to the bottom of the top, just to try and distribute some of the um, weight, I guess, coming onto the legs. Next are the pieces that form the tenon, which will join the two pieces of the bench top together and it's just two pieces of plywood with a void between them um, just to create the thickness I need This is the other half of the top and so I'm just forming what is essentially the mortise and uh, so it's just simply adding a rib at the right distance back from the edge. the actual work surface top I'm just screwing it down so that way um, 
down the track if I need to replace the, the bench tops I can do that pretty easily Next I need to cut the grooves in the leg panels that are, are going to take the stretcher. Um, so it's just a matter of running them through the table saw um, and then cleaning them up with a, a hand saw and chisel. Um, I should mention I suppose at this point that this whole job can be made just with a circular saw and a set of drills and a sander. Um, so really good first project for someone wanting to get into this kind of thing. I'm just trimming the panels flush with uh, my little router um, obviously you can just use a sander for that uh, and that is pretty much the legs finished now I thought at this point I should check if the legs actually fit in the mortises at the top which they didn't quite so I had to go and uh, adjust that a little bit And I could double check my length of the stretcher, which was what it should have been. Then to make the stretcher, which is connected to the legs via an I-beam kind of joint connection. And so I'm just marking my depth of them. Then I can screw the small blocks onto my long stretcher panels. And I added an extra rib in the middle of the stretcher just to keep the pieces of plywood uh, from twisting around. Now to form the crucial uh, component of this, which is the I-beam joint. So I just use a scrap of plywood as a packer and then screw on it another extra piece and that is pretty much it. The ear tight fit and um, really really strong. I was surprised how strong this joint was. So then I just made a quick round over on all the sharp edges and added a couple of coats of uh, water-based polyurethane. And it turned out to be a super sturdy, strong table, apart from my wobbly floor.
Right, so there it is. Hopefully it gave you guys a little bit of inspiration, perhaps. Uh, I'm probably going to end up making a couple of these just to have in the workshop for when I do classes. It's always good to uh, have extra workspace available and I can just keep it flat somewhere out of the way. Um, there will be plans available for this on my new website, so go and check that out. Um, it's one of the few jobs where I felt that plans actually would apply um, to a job. Usually there's too many variables, but in this case it's just all um, as long as you're using the same thickness plywood you should be able to follow some plans. So go check that out if it's self-interest. Anyway, thanks for watching.